In this video I will show you the new XY optimization in 3D profile finishing. To show you what this function is all about and which advantages it brings, let's first look at the toolpath without the XY optimization. If we look into the strategy tab of this job, we can see that the infeed strategy is in X direction and the optimization has not been activated. In certain areas of the part, this results in step overs that are way too big. You can see it here in the steep areas of this part. In these areas, it would make much more sense to machine in Y direction. In the next job, we will now activate the XY optimization in the strategy tab. There are several options to choose from. In the first step, we only want to generate the toolpath that can be used properly in X direction. For this, we activate the slope dependent XY optimization and select basic path only. If we now take a look at the generated toolpath, we can see that Hypermill has only generated the toolpath that can be optimally used in the X direction. To complete the finishing process now, we can simply copy the job and instead of the basic toolpath, we now select only optimization. Only the toolpaths that can be optimally used in Y direction are generated here. If we now display the toolpath of both jobs, it is easy to see that the complete geometry is being machined optimally. And of course, the XY optimization can also be used in a single job. Just activate the option after and we can easily program the XY optimized machining within one job. One thing that I have to mention with the XY optimization is that the transition areas are machined perfectly thanks to an integrated overlap function. In tool and mold making for example, when it comes to finishing of all the 3D geometries, this function ensures excellent machining results.